Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck and today I'm gonna do the start to finish beginner friendly install. Now this one does come courtesy of Recool and they sent over this beautiful body wave lace wig. The wig came in body wave, but of course I went ahead and jazzed it up with some curls. We also did a half up, half down and a little bit of subtle baby hair on the side. We went for a wispy vibe, so we're definitely gonna have a few hot tools involved, but don't be too alarmed. Um, I did this very beginner friendly and you'll see how easy it is to curl the hair just for a little bit of a sexy vo voluminous sexy voluminous vibe go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already now let's jump right into it okay ladies jumping right into it this is recool's packaging you guys can already see i've dipped in the box this is the goodies we're sharing today this one here is so gorgeous and this is a look at the inside construction of the cap i'm gonna go ahead and prep by using my makeup by mario foundation to tint the lace on the inside this is just gonna make it brown and rich like me and it's gonna just make it you know blend with my complexion a lot better this is what the wig looks like on and are we feeling the curls or the wave pattern rather as well as the color combo this is what she looks like from the back if you can just cut the lace and bond her down this hair is everything absolutely gorgeous and it doesn't need to be styled at all so for specs this one is a highlight body wave 13 by 4 lace wig in the length 20 inches this is what she looks like set as a center part i've sitting here and I'm just deciding and contemplating do I want a center part a side part we're going to figure it out but for now let's go ahead and cut off all the excess lace if you want you can definitely go in and pluck the hairline I decided to just leave the wig as is and you'll see it's going to look great as is I kind of showed you a comparison of what the lace looks like half on and half off it definitely blends with my complexion especially after tinting the lace now that we've have all the lace removed let's pull it back a little bit we're gonna flip the cap back and we're gonna go ahead and add our adhesive of choice today we are rocking with the even the red one i love this one it's active so it is a lot more of a stronghold than the yellow one that you guys typically see me use i do have the black one so i'm going to share that one with you soon and i'm going to order the purple one and all the different colors so we can kind of compare and trash and compare contrast and see what the difference with all of them are i got a little bit ahead of myself with that next step let's go ahead and just bond her down so once the adhesive is on and it's wet and you apply the lace on top you want to give the lace an opportunity to dry i'm going to blow dry on a cool setting if you want to not use a blow dryer per se you can definitely just add your melt belt on top and let it air dry for me i kind of am a little bit impatient so i just went ahead and did a little quick one too now she's bonded down and we can go ahead and work on the lace and hairline today i did opt for baby hair here i'm just cutting off a little bit of baby hair i'm doing like the two swoops type of situation at first i was kind of going for that little tiktok style you kind of just feather off a little bit of the hairline and just have it like jagged in the front and as you guys can see i accomplished it and then i changed my mind and went shorter and did wispy baby hair you can definitely do whichever floats your boat and as you guys can see i did burn myself no matter how many wigs i've installed or how much practice i have for sure the idea of burning yourself or the fact that you'll burn yourself just never goes away i want this one to be nice and melted i did decide on half up half down with curls so i really wanted to make sure the hairline and just the whole lace area is super flat for baby hair i am doing wispy so i did curl those pieces away from my face with this little tiny curling iron or flat iron and then I'm just seeing if the tap up, half down is going to work and what I need to do. I did kind of part out a little section of lace just so you can kind of have a little bit of that lace like skin like look popping out a little bit. But I just wanted it to be kind of like a simple and messy half up, half down. So I didn't feel the need to like neatly, you know, section it out. But you can definitely do that if that is what you choose. I'm securing it with an ouchless hair tie and then I'm going to take a nice hefty piece and I'm just going to spray it down with that same adhesive. Remember it's an, adhe an adhesive and it is like sticky so if you want to wrap a piece of hair around the base of your scrunchie to kind of cover it up this is going to give you like a little bit more of an elevated chic look i love the way it just makes the hair look done even when it's a little bit messy and jagged 
while that sets let's go ahead and just play with the baby hair as i mentioned i did want it a little bit more on the wispy side after the fact i did switch this up and change it a little bit more i mean it gave but it just didn't give a whole lot it looks good in person and fine but like after the fact i kind of like looked at my pictures and i was like okay we need to either take it away or add it a little bit more and that's the beauty with wigs like in the moment you may like your style but you know when you see it on camera or you may have it for a few days you might decide to tweak it and that's definitely something I do with the hairline like after the fact now the hair and the body wave texture is absolutely beautiful but I did just opt for a little bit more of a finished look so I did use my t3 curling iron I believe this is a one inch it may be a one and a half I'll have it in the description box it's the same one that all the girls have in the white I did get the blue one from Nordstrom and I like this one because you know I just don't want it to look you know dirty after a while but this is the finished look I did curl the rest of the hair off camera and I'm just adding a little concealer to just make everything look a little bit more skin like absolutely gorgeous make sure you're subscribed and you check out the description box and now let's go do the unboxing and get all the tea on this hair okay babies so we are done with the look i went ahead and did some curls you guys know i typically do wand curls most often or even flat iron curls but today i wanted to you know brush up my skills and do a little uh practice with my actual curling iron and this one is the t3 everyone that you know has the gold and white one and then i have the navy blue fun fact navy blue is one of my favorite colors so i had to have it um and then the hair is from recool so let me show you that really quickly this is the box and the packaging i've been holding on to this one and it's perfect timing um tomorrow we have some special things going on so this is going to be a fun one to rock i'm also going to uh, pull the curls apart i'm just letting them set um but this is the box as i mentioned and then inside it did provide a dust bag and then you have some language here this one is a 20 inch body wave 13 by 4 lace front wig and it's 180 percent density i was about to say something else and then this here is the dust bag that was included um, and inside you literally have like a handful of goodies so let's go through them you have 3d mink lashes you have a pink like rat tail comb with the purple the purple like lavender edge brush you have a pack of wig caps a um, pair of yellow duck bell or um, alligator clips and then i think this is a bonnet yeah burgundy bonnet and then this here is a like a headband that go around your edges or your hairline i'll keep that for you guys but as i mentioned this is the hair itself i would prefer to comb out the curls with like a um rat tail comb not a rat tail comb a shower comb oh you see that it's so pretty this is the look and i think the look all together came out super good what do you guys think the color is one of my favorite like brown tone highlight um colors because it just goes so well with my skin even on days when i'm not wearing makeup i don't feel like i gotta put on makeup so it's like one of those safe colors for my brown skin where again i can rock it with makeup and it you know doll it up or i can wear without makeup and i just don't feel like weird or just out of place if that makes any sense so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go from here be sure to check the description box and you'll get literally every question that you may have right now answered um where the wig came from all the information all the details as well as a direct link as well as um all the all the items that we use to complete this look let me know if there are some specific tutorials you guys want to see i want to get a little spontaneous but sometimes i get in a rut of like styles so leave in the comments and you can always do so but leave in the comments like different styles and um you know like maybe trends or like a celebrity look that you've seen i can recreate it with some of my units and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you always and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches